ordinary horse with the speed of light, a clot of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I am Silver. The Lone Ranger and his Indian companion, Toto, had been trailing two outlaws for several days. As they reached the outskirts of the town of Grey Rock, they pulled to a halt in a clump of trees. Oh, sir, oh, 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 I have to find a place to pitch camp for the night, Tonto. We need rest, and so do the horses. Well, that's right. Hanson, another outlaw, come long way, Kimasali. Yes, Greg Hanson, the man with him, were the only two who escaped when the Hanson gang was caught near Pecos. I'm determined to get them, Tonto. They're both wanted for murder. Well, me go into town, get supplies. Then we go find place to camp. All right, easy, big fella. I'll wait here until you come back, Tonto. May not be long. Get him up, scout. Five minutes later, Tonto stopped at the hitch rack in front of the general store. Oh, scout. As the Indian left his horse and went into the store, a man who had just started through the door of the cafe across the street watched a moment. What the... Then turned and re-entered the cafe hurriedly and approached Greg Hansen, who sat at a table in the rear. What's the matter, Jake? You look upset. Keep your voice down, Greg. Hey, listen. Remember that Indian who was riding with a masked hombre when the gang's hideout was raided? Yeah. What about him? He's here in Grey Rock. Here? Are you sure? Yeah. I just saw him go in the store across the street. His paint horse is at the hitch rack over there. Uh, that means the mask man is here too, then. They must have trailed us. Yeah, that's right. The Indian came in from the west side of town. It's a good thing our horses are hitched out back. We'll go out that way and hit the east trail right now. Hey, no, wait. I got a better idea. You go to the hideout shack while I follow that Indian and see where he goes after he leaves the store. Then I'll come and tell you. He won't be expecting one of us to trail him. That is a good idea. I'll be waiting for you at the shack. But be careful. Those two are mighty clever hombres. Remember that. It 
was more than an hour later when Jake arrived at the hideout shack in the hills on the east side of town. Oh, 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 steady. Well, Jake, what'd you find out? The Indian left the store with some bundles of supplies. He met the masked man on the edge of town. They rode away on the west trail toward the hills. I figured they were going to camp someplace out there for the night. Uh, I see. They're getting too close for comfort, Jake. We gotta do something about it. Yeah, I know. We could leave right now and put a lot of miles between us by morning. Sure, sure. But if they followed us this far, it means that they intend to keep on following us till they catch up with us. What else can we do? We don't dare stop and face them. And I figure they're too smart to ride into an ambush. Yeah, they are. But I have a better idea than trying to ambush them. Yeah, what is it? Look, I happen to know a half-breed in an Indian village near here. I promise him a lot of fire water. He'll get us a white horse and a paint. And he'll fix you up like an Indian. Then what? I'll shave my beard and wear a black mask, see? I'll ride the white horse. You ride the paint. Ride him where, Greg? We'll go into Gray Rock and hold up the night clerk at the express office before dawn. Then we ride out the west trail a ways. And then circle around... And come back here. Ah, you mean the masked man, the Indian, will get the blame, is that it? Sure. Now, we may have to plug that express clerk. But we'll make sure that it's a leg or arm wound, so as he'll be conscious enough to describe us. What's more, somebody's sure to see us hightailing it out of town. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a good idea, all right. <laughs> the sheriff will get a posse and go hunting for that masked man in empty. <laughs> we can hide out here until we're ready to move on. The half-breed can take his horses back to the village when we get through with them. <laughs> I have to hand it to you, Greg. It'll take more than that mask. I'm ready to get the best of you. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that, Jake. Now, come on. We'll go find that half-breed right now. It was several hours later and well past midnight when the sheriff and one of his deputies were lounging in the sheriff's office over a deck of cards. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, Hank. Let's see you top that one. I'm out of that, Sheriff. There's my play, an ace. Oh, great day. You beat me. Well, I guess we better call it quits, Hank. Yep. You're the one supposed to be on guard here tonight. You talked me out of a good night's rest. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, come from the street. Well, come on. There's a few men running towards the express office. Get your gun handy. Look, a couple of armories riding from the back of the express office toward the west trail. Let them have some lead. Hey, sir. Somebody must have tried to rob the express office. Yeah? Two armories. One was on a white horse, the other on a paint. I saw him ride around the side of the building. Well, let's get inside, Hank. Come on. Yeah. Two armories. They robbed the safe. Shot me in the arm. What they look like? One was tall, wore a black mask. The other was an Indian. Hank, get him to the docks. All right. Let's get a posse together right away, and we'll go out the west trail after those two outlaws. Come on, men. The two outlaws followed the west trail for about a mile, then turned off into a shallow creek that ran nearby. They rode along in the creek for some distance until they came to a place where the banks were rocky enough so that they could leave the water without showing tracks. All right, Jake. We can leave the creek any time now. Here. Here, right here where the banks are rocky. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We ride up through the canyon where our tracks won't show much. Then we circle around head east for the shack. But the posse will see where we went into the creek. Sure. They won't see where we came out. <laughs> Rather than waste time, they'll hunt the hills here west of town. Maybe they'll come on to the masked man and Indian somewhere. <laughs> After that, we won't have to worry anymore. <laughs> they guess the masked man and Indian will be the ones to worry then, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they sure will. Well, let's get a move on. Get up. Come on, boy. Meantime. 
time, the sheriff formed a posse and followed the outlaw's trail in the bright moonlight until they reached the point where Hanson and Jake had entered the creek. Well, they went into the creek right here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, now what do we do? They couldn't have doubled back, Sheriff. That's right. The creek runs too close to the trail. Yeah, we would have seen them. I guess they're still heading west. That's right. I guess they are. Well, we'll go along the creek and see if we can find the tracks they left when they come out of it. All right, Sheriff. Sure. Let's get going. Right. Come get on. Get in. Get in. For some time, the posse hunted up and down the creek for the outlaw's trail, but were unable to find it. Finally, the sheriff again called a halt. Oh, well, there. Oh, stop a minute, man. Well, looks like they tricked you somehow. Maybe they went on further in the creek. Yeah, what about that, sheriff? No, the creek gets too deep a little further on. They'd have to leave it. Well, well sheriff, looks like we're stumped. What do we do now, go back to town? No, we don't. Get back on the west trail and follow it into the hills. We're going to search until we get a line on them outlaws once more. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, they got away with a lot of money. That's right, now under $10,000. The express company won't like it if we let them get away, I can tell you that much. Let's get out on the west trail now and follow that a while. They might have gotten back onto it a little further on. Just as you say, Sheriff, we're ready. Well, let's go then. Oh, get up there. Get up there. <laughs> It was almost dawn. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were sleeping peacefully when the great horse Silver aroused them with a whinny of warning. Mm. Something is turtle, Silver. Tonto, mm. me awake, King Sammy. Silver give warning, it seemed like. Yes, but I don't hear anything. Wait, King Sammy, wait. Me hear many hoof beats coming up trail. Yes, I hear them now. Let's saddle the horses just in case. Ah. <laughs> Easy, Silver. Easy, Scotty. Yeah. Maybe we not have to leave. The posse is safer if we do, Tonto. They're out this early. Something must have happened. They wouldn't be in a mood for explanations. At the cinch over here. Cinch strap up. There. Oh, scout ready. Me not able to see horsemen yet. And not come round bend in trail. They'll be within sight shortly. Maybe them not see us over here. Maybe them go on past. In that case, we won't have to leave. We'll wait a few minutes and see. So far, we haven't seen any tracks to show that they come back on the trail. That's right, Sheriff. I wonder if... Hey, look, over there in that clear to the left. Oh, 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 oh. I don't see anything. Uh, two horses, looks like. One of them's white. Hey, Jay, you're right. Look, I can make out two armies near them. That must be them. Let's get over there and find out. Come on, get, get up, up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had watched as the posse came around the bend and stopped. Then the masked man saw the deputy pointing toward them. They see us, Tonto. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm turning in here, King of Yes. Come out and let's get away from here. Easy, big folks. Easy, Scott. Easy. One silver. Get him up, Scott. 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 The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Not wanting to explain his mask to the posse, the Lone Ranger and Tonto left the camp hurriedly when the sheriff and the posse started into the camp. They headed into an arroyo, and after some time of hard riding, managed to lose the posse. Finally, the two men drew rein to rest. Hold on, hold on, From the way that posse came in after us, Tonto, struck me that we're the ones they were hunting. Isn't that right, Kimasabi? Me not savvy. Neither do I, but I intend to find out. How you find out? We go back in those trees and stop there. I'll disguise myself as a cowhand and go into town and see what news I can get. Oh, you be careful. There may be no silver if them see him. I'll use some mud to disguise silver, too. And I'll leave him in hiding on the edge of town. You can wait for me out here. All right, let's go. Come on, silver. Come up, stop. Later that morning, the Lone Ranger went to the edge of town and left Silver, whose white coat had been rubbed with reddish clay, in a clump of trees where he wouldn't attract attention. Then the masked man walked to the cafe and sat at the back drinking coffee. He listened attentively to the conversation taking place around him. Yeah, we rode most of the night before we sighted him. Then he gave us a slip. The sheriff sure riled up about it. Shorts the same, too? Well, it must have been. One was masked and riding a white horse. The other was an Indian. That's them, all right. I got a fairly good look at them as they rode away from the express office. The sheriff and I were in the jail when it happened. We ran out in time to see him riding away. I took the clerk to the doctor. He had a pretty bad wound in his arm. Seems like you had some kind of a robbery in town last night from what you all are saying. Sure did, stranger. A couple of ornery owls who's got away with close to $10,000. Uh, you new around here? Just riding through, mister. Oh, which way did you come into town? Along the West Trail. Don't suppose you sighted two armories like we were discussing. One was tall and wearing a mask. Rode a big white horse. The other was an Indian on a paint. Uh, can't say as I did. But if I had sighted them, I'd have been mighty surprised, I reckon. If one of them was masked, like you say. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you would have been at that. Did they uh, ride out that way? Yep, turned into the creek about a mile out. They fooled the sheriff for a bit, and the posse come on to them sort of by accident, camping out along the West Trail. But the coyotes got away, and the posse come back to town empty-handed. Oh. Well, I reckon I better be getting along. If I see anything of those hombres, I'll come back and tell you, mister. Sure, do that. But I don't reckon you'll see them now or anyone else. Guess they hightailed it away from this vicinity. <laughs> maybe they did. See you later, maybe. Adios. Adios, mister. The Lone Ranger, in his disguise as a cowpoke, casually walked from the cafe to the place where he had left Silver. He mounted and rode back to the camp where Toto was waiting. Oh, 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 easy. Steady, Miko. You hear anything in town, Kimisabi? Yes, Toto, I did. Two men posing as you and me robbed the express office last night. That's why posse chase us. You think maybe Hanson, another feller, ones who robbed express office? I feel sure of it. They must have found out we were trailing them. And resorted to trickery to get us in trouble. Well, it's not good to law think we rob express office. That's right. Means we'll have to find Hanson and get him to admit the tricky pull. How we find out, Law? Well, I learned they came out the West Trail a bit and rode along in the creek to throw off the posse. Maybe if we hunt along the creek banks, we can find out where Hanson and the other outlaw left the creek. Then we could trail them from there. Ah. I'll put my mask on now and we'll get going. Oh. Me ready. One silver. Get him up, Tom. For some time, the Lone Ranger and Tonto followed the creek, searching both banks for a sign that would indicate where the two outlaws had left the water. Finally, they reached the rocky place near the canyon. Oh, 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 oh. Why, we stopped him, Asabi. I was just thinking, Tonto. We were trying to hide our trail by following the creek. This is about the place where we'd turn out of the water. Hoof marks would be hard to see here. Well, that's right. Let's ride into that canyon a short way and see if we can spot anything. Come on, Silver. Get him up, stop. Wait. Wait, we see signs. Oh, Scott, oh, 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 o
closer. Easy, big fellow. Where do you see any sign of them coming this way? Look there. Fresh mark on rocky trail. So maybe horse stumble. Yes, I see it now. Maybe we are on the right trail. We'll go on through the canyon and see what we can pick up beyond it. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Riding through the short canyon, the Lone Ranger and Tonto found that the rocky trail ended, and once more they were on a dirt trail. Now we're sure they came this way, Tonto. The tracks show plainly. Mm, that's right. Then turn eastward, look like. Circle round town. Yes. They did a clever job of throwing off the posse. Let's hope they stop at some hideout so that we'll have a chance to catch up with them. Come on, Silver. Come up, Scout. Meantime, Greg Hansen and Jake had arrived at their hideout shack and turned over the white horse and the paint to the half-breed. All right, Breed. Take those horses back to your village right away. You say you give them Breed plenty of firewater. Yeah, yeah. Come on back later and we'll give it to you. Uh, me come back. Good. Now get on your Mustang and take those horses away from here, like I said. Uh, but me be back. Oh, it up. How you going to get any whiskey to give that half-breed, Greg? <laughs> Won't be safe for us to go to town now. By the time he gets back here, we'll be gone. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside. Sometime later, as the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode along the East Trail following the outlaw's tracks, Tonto pointed and spoke. Look, Kimasabi. What? The Indian come along branch trail yonder. Him leading two horses. Yes, White horse and a paint. That right. That's interesting. We'll stop him. Come on, Silver. Get him up to count. When the masked man and the Indian reached the intersection of the two trails, they drew rein and unholstered their guns. Oh, Silver. Oh, Silver. Oh, Silver. Breed looked up as he approached, and with a startled look on his face, started to swing off the trail. Stop where you are and reach. Oh, oh, oh. Now, me stop. You not shoot. We'll question him, Toto. Come on, Silver. Get him up to count. Oh, oh, oh. Where did you get those horses? Me get horse from Indian village. Me not steal them. It's easy to see they've been ridden hard recently. Who rode them? Indians ride them. Don't lie. Who rode those horses this morning? Speak up, bro. Oh, you, you not shoot me, tell. Me get horses for two pale face who stay in shack back in the hollow. Them promised me plenty of fire water. They say, come back, get fire water by and by. Them two men who make up to look like us, Kimasari. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Get off that Mustang breed and hurry. Uh, oh. Dismount and tie him up with your lariat. Let uh, uh, me tie him up. As soon as you get him tied, we'll leave him with the white horse and the paint in that clump of trees to the left. Oh. Why do we do that? Uh, uh, him tied. Huh? We'll leave Scout there too, Toto. You can take Breed's Mustang and ride to the sheriff's office in town. They won't be suspicious of you without a paint horse. Well, why me go, go there and what me say? I'll give you a note and a silver bullet. Bring the sheriff and his men here where they can see those horses. I'll go ahead and keep watch on the shack until they get there. Oh, me do it. I have a piece of paper in my saddlebag. I'll get the note ready. And you can get to town and make it fast. After hiding the half-breed and the horses in the clump of trees, Tonto mounted the Mustang and started for town with a note for the sheriff. The Lone Ranger then followed the trail that led to the hideout shack. Later that morning, after they had eaten, Hanson and Jake prepared to leave. We better be getting along now, Jake. Horses are saddled and waiting outside. Got them ready while you fix the food. Yeah, we better get away before Breed comes back. He might be nasty about not getting his fire Ah, stop worrying about him. Let's get out of here. Hey, where's the money we got from the express hall? In my saddlebags. We'll be a long ways away from here by tonight. I bet by this time the posse's chasing that masked man and Indian all the way back to Pecos. You're wrong, Hanson. Hey, what? what? Reach, you. Hey, look at the corner shack. It's him. Masked man. Well, he won't get me. But... With a quick movement, Greg Hanson grabbed Jake, twisting his arm behind him oh. so that Jake stood in front between Hanson and the Lone Ranger. Ah. 
Hey, Greg, you, you drilled me. That may be, but I won't be taking his bullets, and I still have a free hand to shoot with. That made him duck. Go on and shoot, mister, before you let into Jake. Your friend should have known better than to trust you, Hanson. Greg, let me go. You can't use me as a shield like this. Can't I? The masked man decides to shoot, you'll take the bullet. And I won't have to share that money with you, Jake. You won't get away, Hanson. Yes, I will. I was hoping the posse would get you and that Indian. As long as we got you, Hanson, hey, we won't the... have to go after the other two. Uh, you drop gun and let go a fellow's arm. He got gun at your back. Now drop gun. All right, all right. Oh, we sneaked up through the trees and saw what was happening here. Good thing our friend the mass man got here in time to keep you from leaving. These are the two who robbed the express office, Sheriff. Yeah, we know. We saw the horses they used back yonder. That half-breed that you left tied up told us what he knew. Sorry we chased you from your camp, my friend. Forget it. Come on, Toto. We'll get our horses. Adios, Sheriff. The stolen money's in Hanson's saddlebag. Adios, and thanks. Hey, who is that masked hombre, Sheriff? Uh, how come you let him go? Yeah, Sheriff, uh... You didn't tell us what this is all about. Well, I reckon that masked man and his Indian friend were trailing Hanson and his fella. So Hanson figured on a bit of trickery to get him in trouble, get away with the express money to boot. But you see, these two outlaws posed as the masked man and Indian to pull that robbery. But Hanson ought to know he couldn't trick the Lone Ranger and get away with it. No, sir. Well, the range go. This is a feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, created and produced by George W. Trendle, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and edited by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. (laughs) 